Car number 85 goes next in line from Colchester, Connecticut. Champs Boxing to bring us Brian Narducci. Midway through the last season, they approached me and I ended up driving their second car. And I mean, we had really good speed last year and obviously the driver before they had good speed with. So we knew it was a really good car coming into this year. We had one goal to go out there and just do the best we could. Ladies and gentlemen, up and out of your seats. To the line they come. Wow. Todd Owen will take down the win. 24 thousandths of a second between the top two at the checkered flag. I gave it up. It didn't need that last yellow, but you know, it is what it is. But I didn't want to set the tone of, you know, using them up early, whatever. Just kind of wanted to start the year, keep it in one piece so we could build on the next week, which we did. Narducci, four races, four top five finishes. There's a reason why he's the points leader. He hasn't had a win yet, but it's going to be coming if he keeps this up because that 85 has been stout. Honestly, the first heat race is probably the most important thing because if you start in the back, once you start in the back, and then if you miss being in the top 15 the first week, it just sets you behind the eight ball. And I've heard a lot of other people say that. But it's definitely true. My first year of SKs, that happened. And it took four or five weeks just to get into the handicap. So when you start in the back like that, it kind of just takes away your chances of being, you know, obviously up front. But then you're also, where you could get wrecked back there, it's a lot more dicey, you know, from 15th on back than it is from 1st to 15th. They are three wide coming off the turn. Sparks will fly down into turn number one. What an unbelievable situation. Brian Narducci had that car sideways and held on. Uh, honestly, iRacing. That was all iRacing 100%. Locked the brakes up and stuffed the gas at the same time and it just straightened out. I thought I was going around and that the whole field was going to run into me, but luckily everybody missed us and we were able to straighten it out and didn't lose a spot. Up front, battle for the lead. Narducci sails it deep down into turn number three. Di Matteo hangs on for all he's got in the outside lane, but Brian Narducci to the point in the SK Modified feature. Di Matteo closes in one final time, but it's not going to be enough. Double checkers are out, and Brian Narducci wins at Stafford. It meant a lot. Last year was pretty big because it was my first SK win, but definitely to be with a new team and to win a race for them, definitely really cool. Wish we could have got a couple more. We were in good spots to be for a couple more, but just didn't happen. The hottest driver beforehand was Brian Narducci, but a little bit of a setback for that 85 team. He had a healthy point lead going into and coming out of last Friday night until that post-race disqualification. Uh, I put it right behind me. Just the whole thing that kind of sucks is losing the points because that just, it's like you weren't even there for a night and then that screws you up for the handicap for the next three weeks. So that, that set us behind the eight ball, but I don't think the transmission had any anything to do with how we performed. I mean, we came out the next week and I think we finished second. So our car is good no matter what. Just, just a matter of being in the right place at the right time. And Talman slides up the hill. Oh, trouble. trouble, turn three, couple cars to the outside guardrail. Oh, Ryan boy. Narducci and Ronnie Williams. And obviously, our car was pretty wrecked, pretty bad. So we couldn't run it the next day, which was unfortunate. Luckily, we were able to run Keith's car. We ended up getting in a little jingle at the end of that race too, but kept that in pretty much one piece. Able to fight him off as a complete lap number one. Oh, and trouble. trouble. Oh, one car gets airborne. That's the, the 85 car for Narducci. Four cars co collected. It's never fun going up and over somebody. And the car was pretty wrecked that night, too, but everybody did a great job just getting back together. And we got out there, and I think we had like a seventh place finish or something that night. So it wasn't too bad. Yeah, everybody pulled together and just. Luckily, uh, we borrowed some stuff from Mike Christopher. Todd let us borrow some stuff. So just everybody that came together and helped him, you can't thank him enough. You just go there to do the best you can. Obviously, you want to win, but sometimes when you got to take a second, like at the Sizzler, you do, or third. And I've started to learn that if you have a third place car, sometimes it's better to just finish third than to try to force it, try to win. Sometimes you will, but a lot of times you won't. You know, we had a couple good finishes to end the year. I think we had two thirds and a fourth, if I'm right. So that's definitely good momentum going into the year and just do what we did last off season, get the car ready and replace what we need to replace. And would have liked to win a couple more races if we could have, obviously. I mean, even Todd won the championship winning one race. It just, you gotta be top 10 every week. That's what, that's what it comes down to. But you can't really have a bad DNF. If you have like a 14th or a 15th, it'd probably be fine. But if you have two 25th place finishes, that's gonna hurt you a lot. Just gotta thank everybody at the Petty Cash crew, Ginny, Tick Mike, JJ, Tyler, Reese, Bree, 
Emma, just everybody that helps out. Rizzo Corporation, Champs Boxing, Pettit for the Horsepower, Waddell, everybody that's on the car that does everything that they can. Everybody that comes to the shop, everybody that comes to the track, Chris, Florida Connection, my Avenida and Uncle Greg, the Guante family, and just everybody that makes it happen. We're gonna go win some races. We're gonna try it. Hopefully, gonna be up in the points a little bit better. Obviously, gotta start the year good. You don't wanna be behind the eight ball, like I said. Just try to finish races every week. Yeah!